Hello everybody and welcome back to Insider's Guide. Today we're discussing the ski resort Au Cœur de Trois Vallées, Maribel. As the heart of the three valleys, Maribel tends to just be used to transit between Val Thoron and Courchevel. However, it has some incredible skiing itself, which you'll hear all about in this video. If you haven't already, go check out part A, the top link in the top of the description. It'll give some valuable context to a lot of what I'm about to say. With that, let's begin an Insider's Guide to Ski Resorts edition Maribel. We will start at the Col de la Loz. This is the less accessible and lesser known of the two crossovers between Maribel and Courchevel. As such, I prefer to take the Loz high-speed quad to get to Courchevel and take the Dudes Longe high-speed quad in Courchevel to get to Maribel. On the Maribel side, there are three runs. The Boulevard de la Loz takes you over to the Rodos area. Pique Bleu is similar to a road but is much wider and takes you down towards the Altaport area. Both of these runs can get extremely busy, especially in early and late season when one or the other is closed. When possible, I always try to take Tetra, which is quite obviously steeper as it goes straight down the face while Peak Blue goes around. As such, it is typically much less busy than either of the Blues. Lowe's typically isn't too busy. The Don de Bergen and Adre six packs are never busy. As such, both are great for lapping. Renard is the less busy of the runs serviced by these two. Upper Gea is also quite nice and empty. Renardo is a little bit busier as it serves as a shortcut for Blanchot. The same story applies for Lower Gea. Chamois is a little busier because it comes from the Versant Solier. We'll talk about that in a second. However, in the grand scope of things, these three runs aren't that bad. Marmot is a little less busy and I find it much better than Rodo. Blanchot and Rodo, two of the three greens in the area, are also the busiest in the area. Blanchot would be plenty wide were it not for the hundreds of ski schoolers on the piste at a given time. These two little pistes off of Blanchot are great to take your kids on. Rodo is busy because it is the primary way to access Le Chaudin, which is the name of this base area. Also due to ski school, along with the beginners making mistakes loading the chair, the lone eight-seat chairlift in the Trois-Vallée, Altaport, can get quite long lines. You can avoid these by taking the Forêt piste. Forêt begins with a rope toe, this Fontenay lift on the map, but is also flat for the rest of its length. I try to only use it once, to exit the Altaport zone. It's certainly not a run to be lapped. As a whole, this area up in the open with a lot of pistes can be difficult to navigate. Rather than signs, it is navigated by large banners that are set up at every junction. However, my advice is that if you are trying to get somewhere specific, trust your map more than the banners. If you're trying to get to the Rondpoint, the Gaea banner may not say Rondpoint, but taking Gaea will indeed get you there. Below the Altaport zone are two blues. Le Pont is a really nice, generally empty blue served by the Gulf high-speed quad. I find it to be a nice lap, albeit icy at times. Hulot is just a road to serve the ski-in, ski-out apartments in Maribel Centre. Morel, the chairlift that serves said apartments, is a fixed-grip triple. Neither Golf nor Morel gets lines, except for a few minutes in the mornings when everyone is first getting on the mountain. Rodo and Forêt both flow into the blue piece de Ron. Now, because de Ron is a blue, if you only ski greens, your way to get to La Chaudonne is via the Rodo gondola. Rodo is a standing-only gondola, but it's pretty short and may be getting replaced in the coming years. Coming down the Rodo piste, you can get on the Rodo's gondola at the mid-station and ride it down into La Chaudonne. Forêt drops you off below the mid-station, so you'll have to take the Côte Poma to get to the mid-station from there. Should you choose to take the Rond, be prepared for an extremely busy and icy or slushy run, as it is the only run into La Chaudonne from everything we just talked about. If you're at the top of Altaport or Rodos, I would highly advise taking the Rodo piste here instead of Lower Gea, as Rodos will be much less busy and icy. The Solier is where a vast majority of people transit between Maribel and Courchevel. As such, these two gondolas can get quite busy. Pas du Lac tends to be the busier of the two, as many people coming from Valteron and Les Minuit transit through Matare, this upper village where Pas du Lac is located. If you're coming down into Maribel Matare and Pas du Lac has a long line, I would advise skiing down Trut and taking the Solier Express instead. For the most part, the worst Solier's line will be is equal, but it generally tends to be shorter than Pas du Lac's.
Of all these runs coming from the Solir summit, most are quite nice, keeping good snow because they are at a high altitude. However, Biche and Marcassin, the most popular runs down into Meribel Sanche and Meribel Monterey, respectively, are almost always busy and icy. If coming down the Solir side, I much prefer Chamois and Maudui. Maudui is nice because it avoids Doron. Chamois is more useful if you are trying to get to the Alteport. If you're trying to transit through La Chaudin, I would highly advise taking Maudui. This upper part of Maudui does not connect to Aigle, even though it looks like it could on the trail map. On the Monterey side, Marcassin is not the only bad run. Aigle is the funnel for all four of these runs, so it is also busy and icy. To avoid Marcassin and as much of Aigle as possible, I typically try to take Niverot to Grand Rosière. Niverot is also busy and icy, but not to the level of Marcassin. Sanglier is a pretty busy black, but Grand Rosière is much more empty. If you don't want to take Grand Rosière, but you still want to avoid Aigle, you can take Niverot or Sanglier to Chardonnay and then ski Lower Maudui. Chardonnay is a connector road, but it's pretty short. The other two lifts out of Maribel Monterey, aside from the Pas du Lac Gondola, are the Platière Gondola and the Combes Sixpack. For now, we're going to look at Platière. Platière can get some long lines in the morning when the never-ending ski school line loads to head to Valteron. The Châtelet Sixpack runs parallel and is never busy, so it's a great alternative for the gondola. Some days it does open pretty late, so if that's the case, you can just ski down on past, ride into Monterey, and take Platière. You can access Châtelet from the Combe chairlift out of Monterey, the Tunet de chairlift out of Centre, the Tep surface lift in Le Minuit, and the Saint Martin Express in Saint Martin. From the top of Platière and Châtelet, you have three options. The first option is to take the Bouvray piste. Bouvray Bleu is a road that goes over to the bottom of Côte Brune, then turns into a normal piste on down to the Plan de Mans base. Bouvray Red is much less busy than the Blue and is a nice short lap some of the time. We'll talk about why in a second. The Côte Brune chairlift is your gateway to Valteron. As such, it is consistently busy. If you're headed to Valteron, try to get to Côte Brune by 10 in the morning, or I would advise going to Valteron by way of the Bruyère Gondola and Le Minuit. Côte Brune's best run to lap is Venturon, which is a nice long red piste that has quite the run out. Lac de la Chambre is extremely busy, as it is the only run in Maribel you can access directly from Valteron. The top has this blue road around the main face, which is this red stretch. After this curve, the run gets pretty flat. It then splits here, but both ways are pretty much roads. If you plan to ski past the base of the Plan de Mans six-pack and the Mont Valon gondola and take the Mur Rouge Blue here, take the left-hand road onto the Chemin Tranquille, following signs toward the Plan de Mans restaurant. It will save you a big hike through the space area. In theory, there are two ways from the Plan de Mans base back to the rest of Maribel. The first is to ski down the Mur Rouge Bleu to the Our Bleu. Mur Rouge is a touch narrow for a blue, but it has incredible scenery along the trail, transitioning from above tree line to below it. It can be lapped via the Mur Rouge high speed quad, which gets long lines on occasion, but is typically not too bad. As you can see here, Ur is extremely flat, and locals try to avoid it by any means. Ur can also have such bad snow conditions that it can be closed in the early afternoon, before the main rush of skiers returning from Valteron and Les Menuis. The other way up from Plan de Mans is to take the Plan de Mans six-pack. I have seen Plan de Mans at walk right up status. I have also seen Plan de Mans with an hour-long lift line. I have never seen it in between. Typically, Plan de Mans has no line whatsoever, but beware if you're staying in Courchevel and are skiing Valteron, as there's a specific set of conditions that cause the hour-long lines. If it is a sunny day, typically with fresh snow, but Ur is closed for whatever reason, the amount of people returning down Lac de la Chambre simply overwhelms the capacity of Plan de Mans. To err on the safe side, I typically try to avoid the Plan de Mans area altogether when returning from Valteron, by skiing into Les Menuis instead and coming out at Trois Marchés here. The other lift originating at Plan de Mans is the Mont Vallon gondola. Mont Vallon is famous for its views. Its gondola is infamous for its lines. If you see Mont Vallon with a short line, take advantage of it and head up top. Combe du Vallon is an extremely difficult red, and while Campagnol is easier than Combe du Vallon, it is by no means an easy red. Combe du Vallon is the bigger and busier of the two, but requires a two-lift lap. If you're wanting to hit both runs on Mont Vallon, do Campagnol first so that you can get the second Mont Vallon ride as soon as possible in case a queue is forming. 
That way, you won't be sitting on Mur Rouge as a bunch of other people get ahead of you in line for Mont Volant. Campagnolo starts off as a red here, but then opens up into a traditional red along this stretch. Both are pretty icy, but that's to be expected when you have an entire gondola serving only two runs. Off the top of Platière and Châtelet, your second option is to take the Bucatan six-pack. Bucatan almost never has lines. Its two reds are both two lift laps, which is quite annoying, but that means that they are empty and maintain good snow conditions. Mouflon fits this more so than Alouette, but both can be nice. Ibex, a new run, has yet to open for the first time ever while I was there, but from my visual on the chairlift ride, I could tell pretty easily that it is pretty much a shoot. The third option from Châtelet and Platière is to ski back down underneath said lifts. I like this little blue piece jambé as it is a fun little banked slalom that goes around the iciest parts of Sutel. It's not as fun when you're battling a thousand of your closest British friends coming back from Valteron at 3 in the afternoon, but it is quite nice in the morning and at midday. Sutel is a really good blue lap via Châtelet from opening to 10, and from 11 to 2. Châtelet also serves all of these terrain parks here, which were not built at the time I visited, so I'm not sure what their features are. Martre is one of my least favorite runs in Maribel. Everybody says that Marcassin is the busiest and iciest, but I've found that that title belongs more to Marthe, especially at the end of the day. In a minute, we'll talk about a run to go around Marthe on, but just know what you'll be dealing with. Citel is nice to lap by the Châtelet chairlift, but Citel to Marthe is not a good lap. The third lift out of Matoré is the Cum six-pack. It is primarily used as a beginner lift, but it is quite helpful to get to other places. Cum's gets lines, but they're typically not too bad. Off the top of the lift, you can go down the top part of Mart and stick to the right onto a little road that will take you to the Châtelet lift. The top part of Mart is quite flat in some spots. The easiest chairlift to access from Combes is Roc de Tunier. This six-pack is almost never busy as it only serves reds and blacks, including the Tepes Red in Les Menuis. Barthavé seems less steep than most blacks, as it and Julie seem to have the same pitch. Because the lift isn't that busy, Neither run is, either. Julie used to be called La Gopède, so don't be surprised if you still see that name here and there. Both runs are really nice laps. To get back to the bottom of Roc de Tunier from Julie, you have to keep up some speed to push along this flat part next to the restaurant. Barthevé brings you straight back to the lift. Fouin, which starts from Julie, is not my favorite red. However, it is my much preferred run to get into Matre over Mart. It's less busy and, dare I say, less icy. I try to take it any way possible. You can take it from Julie, off of Marche from Combes, or, if you're on Marche, you can take the cutoff on the left for the Chemin Tranquille, or easy way, and then take a quick right onto Fouin. You can see here Combes has a mid station which is on load only. Combes does not turn at the mid as shown on the Maribel map, but is rather completely straight as is correctly portrayed on the Toivelet map. The mid-station is used by beginners, serving this green Little Himalaya. Little Himalaya, which is often called the name of its theme, Yeti Park, can have some very poor snow conditions and can be quite busy. Many beginners that I talk to prefer the Altaport sector for learning. Off the top of Combs, you can exit right and access the Red Cooks. Cooks can have poor snow quality, but it's typically not too busy. Cooks does not come from Combs to Niet, it comes from Dahu. It's quite nice when it's snowed in the past day or two. Pouillard is just a road to connect the Combes area to the Tuniette area of Maribel Centre. Now, we've already talked about two of the lifts here in La Chaudonne. We're going to talk about Tuniette en right now. This gondola is typically empty, as most people prefer to take Legends so that they can keep their skis on. As such, if there's a line at Legends, I would advise taking Tuniette en unless you're trying to go to the Chefferie or Olympic chairlifts. Perdri and Truit are mostly roads, but they are both wide enough for plenty of traffic. Perdri is also helpful to get to Monterey if you're in La Chaudon. Comme Le Tele is a short little red that I've found typically isn't too terribly crowded. It's a nice lap if the snow conditions are good. Lièvre, this blue, is the most popular way to get into La Chaudon from the Tuniette area, so I try to avoid it. I have seen some massive bare spots on Lièvre. From the top of Tunyet An, you can also get straight onto the Tunyet Du six pack. Tunyet Du gets some long lines, but that's for a reason. Tunyet Du has one of the few true terrain pods in Trois-Vallées. There are enough runs to spread crowds enough, and enough variety to entertain everyone. 
Come to Nyet is the most popular run, seeing as it is the easiest to access. You can take a quick right onto Dahu, which connects you to Matare. If you ski along the ridge, you can access Ekirge, which is an easier black. Feon winds back and forth more times than I can count, which I find really fun. Blero is the least busy of the pod because it's the furthest away from the lift. It's a nice little red cruiser. All of these runs maintain really good snow quality. I found this to be my favorite area to lap in Maribel, and I believe it is absolutely worth any lift lines that may amass at Tunyet Du. The fourth and final lift out of La Chaudonne is Legends. Legends is a bubble six pack that is one of the nicest chairlifts you'll ever ride. It gets lines from time to time, but it has a super high capacity and chews through lines pretty quickly. Off the top, most people just go left on Grieve and head down to Monterey or to the Tunyet Du lift. As such, heading right to Chierfery and Olympic is never a bad option. Grieve is a wide, shallow piste. I'm honestly not sure why it's not green. Eterlu is a nice, quiet red. Boz tends to have lots of bare spots, but it's also been a decently quiet little black in my limited experience of skiing it. There are also some kids area terrain park type of areas off of Grieve, serviced by a slow little surface lift. To the right is another little kids area here, and a short connector green. Kavs is only a short little platter, and is sometimes the only way out of this side if Gélenot is closed. Chefferi is the old Plan de Lôme six-pack that ran where Legends now runs. It never has crowds. Shuka is a nice wide blue that I'll lap any day. Gipeet is a narrower winding red, but it's not all that steep. It's also a nice lap. Bus is a road that takes you away from Chefferi. The Olympic high-speed quad, one of the longer chairlifts in Maribel, is also never crowded as it's pretty far from the center of the valley. Roc de Fer is a long blue run that is a really nice afternoon lap. Fas is an old Olympic run, so it's steep and long. It's a great run if you want a challenge. Lower Roc de Fer is almost always closed as it is the racing piste. Instead, your run to get back to La Chaudonne is Gélenot. Gélenot is not a bad blue in itself, although it can be slushy at the end of the day simply due to its low elevation. Raffor, Dogue, and Viage are little roads through the woods that can take you down to the Olympe Gondola. They're not often open in early and late season, and are only helpful if you're staying in Le Raffor or Les Alleux. It can be hard to get in an upbound cabin in the morning and a downbound cabin in the afternoon from the mid-stations of Olympe. Well, that's about it for Maribel. As always, please leave any questions down below. If you haven't already, go check out parts B, D, and E about the three other main areas in Le Trois-Vallées. Thank you all so much for watching. All my love, I'm out.